Why MGTOW? MGTOW is men going their own way. Avoiding marriage for their own safety and sanity. That's the general gist of MGTOW. Other than that, it's up to you with your definition of MGTOW. There are basic rules like don't get married, but that's it. You define the rest. But why would you want to go your own way, be single and lonely and all that, when you could get a wife and procreate? You see, um, your perception of what it's like to be in a relationship is most likely incorrect if you're not familiar with MGTOW. And I'm not saying that all relationships function in the exact same way, but thanks to this magical thing called the internet, men have come together and we now realize that relationships tend to follow similar patterns. And in addition to that, we realize how men are often used by women and how we are mistreated. Now, I'm not trying to say that men are innocent angels either. You know, we, of course, are we're, we, we uh, can mistreat women, too. However, it's usually the guys that are mistreated and the guys that are used up and no one seems to bat an eye about it. And we realize that when we follow what we were told to do from the moment we were born to present day, we didn't get the results that we desired. And we discovered that being nice towards women usually gets you used up, like becoming a free meal ticket, for example. We didn't attract women. We instead gave them the okay to use us up as walking ATM machines. And again, not every case is like this, but the overwhelming majority of cases are. Have you ever heard of the, uh, what's it called, the herbivore men in Japan? I suggest you look into it. And there, like I said, there are a ton of reasons as to uh, why you shouldn't get married or even get into a serious relationship with women. I mean, there is a reason as to why MGTOW is growing and why there is a uh, male drought, as I like to call it. Now, if you're new to MGTOW and the idea of it, don't leave just yet. The more you learn about topics like male expendability and male disposability, you'll see how life isn't what you thought it was about. MGTOW is not about changing the status quo. It's a statement of self-ownership. Now, personally, MGTOW has changed my life for the better in so many different aspects, which is the reason why I started MGTOW Academy. I know that it has the power to help so many other men. The price tag on the knowledge circulating MGTOW communities is priceless. I've been familiar with MGTOW for just over a year at this point, and within this time frame, I've learned more useful knowledge and wisdom than I ever have in my 10 plus years of indoctrination, I mean, um, not indoctrination, education in the public school system. And I, uh, might I remind you that I haven't spent a penny on learning this stuff. Now, this is a true free education, except that this one doesn't run on tax dollars, and this uh, two is practical in most aspects of life. Now, there are still so many more reasons as to why you should go your own way, and I keep adding more reasons all the time, so consider subscribing to the MGTOW Academy YouTube channel if you like the content that I'm putting out and if you like what you see. But anyways, back to the video. So, like I said, what you perceive of life probably isn't true. And look, I'm not some crazy conspiracy theorist trying to force you to believe some weird theory I came up with. I'm just trying to point you in the right direction. Are you aware of the silent mill suicide epidemic? If not, I suggest that you listen to Season 2, Episode 1 of the MGTOW Academy Show. 40 minutes dedicated to the epidemic that no one cares nor talks about. The link to that is in the description box below. And look, there's so much more. There's so many more problems that men face. We are the leading demographic in suicide, homelessness, workplace deaths, combat deaths, and more. And yet, no one bats an eye. And despite all the problems that the male gender is plagued with, we are constantly bashed in mainstream entertainment and mainstream media. Like, whenever a male teacher has sex with a female student, every news article uses the word rape. So many times, but, and I'm not saying it's okay, but the point is that when a female teacher has sex with a male student, you'll never even hear the word rape. Like I said, I'm not saying that teacher to student, or student to teacher, or whatever, uh, sexual relationships are okay. I'm just trying to say that it doesn't add up here. I mean, it's as if women can't rape. Can women rape? Hey, I'm not even sure anymore. All right, look. Pause the video right now. Right now, pause the video, and I want you to Google male teacher has sex with student. But before you leave, I also want you to Google female teacher has sex with student. So go to the news tab under Google or whatever search engine that you use. Search those two terms up, and you will see a clear difference in the articles. So pause the video now. Search those two things up, and uh, let me know what you see. All right, so I hope you went and did that. If not, I don't care. But I want, I, I, I want, you, to, I want you to see what I'm talking about. I'm trying to prove a point here, all right? 
Like Google it and you will see the clear difference. All right. Uh, by the way, did you guys hear about that? Uh, was it the medical student who stabbed someone and didn't go to jail? Oh, yeah. I also remember that a uh, campaign called hashtag bring back our girls. That was where the terrorist group Boko Haram kidnapped about 300 schoolgirls. Extremely tragic, of course. And the story uh, received worldwide attention. But when nearly 10,000 boys were kidnapped over a period of approximately three years, no one seemed to care. And yes, it happened over three years, but that's about 3,333 boys kidnapped per year if they were all equally kidnapped per year. But still, in one year, the amount of boys kidnapped by Boko Haram surpassed the girls by a huge margin. And that alone should have gotten some worldwide attention. But of course, it didn't because, well, we're boys, we're men. Uh, no one cares about us. And you'll learn about that if you dig into the videos and the podcasts that I put out. So that's why I highly suggest you listen to them and you watch my videos. But uh, whatever, three years go by, you know, three years go by, uh, uh, goes by, and no one still cares about the 10,000 innocent boys kidnapped by Boko Haram. So um, I wonder, you know, I wonder why that's so. And if you wonder too, you should listen to my podcast about men in the media, which is linked in the description box below. You think, you see, you have been set up to work your entire life for procreation. And then after that, you have a family. It gets flipped upside down at your expense. You get a divorce. And uh, yeah, you know what happens after that. There's a term called divorce rape. I suggest you look it up and you'll see why. All right. So you're taught from the get go that women are more valuable than you are. You know, of course, nobody outright says this, but this type of mentality is ingrained into our minds. And MGTOW removes any mentality that is toxic to the health, well-being, and safety of a man in our modern gynocentric society. Sometimes experienced MGTOW often wonder if MGTOW is really for them, and they wonder if they should have gotten into a marriage or a serious relationship. But then they turn to modern relationships, and they turn to how men are treated in our modern society. Then MGTOW men smile and continue on with their happy day or night. MGTOW is growing for a reason, and sooner or later you'll realize that MGTOW was right all along. So guys, that was my quick PSA, if you will, type of video about MGTOW. And that's all I'd like to say for now, guys. Uh, and until next time, I'd like to remind you that it's a very dangerous world out there, so be sure to keep taking your daily doses of red pills and to stay safe. Everybody, this is MGTOW Academy, signing off.